everybody. Scott Sprantz here. DocSports.com. Our update for Wednesday, June 26, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Cool way to do it. Click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or any other capper over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account. Nice trial run. DocSports.com. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. All right, last night, nice day for us. 3-1 and one overall, 2-1 and one in baseball, including the win here with Texas. Also another WNBA winner, Seattle plus the points over Las Vegas. We're now on an 83% winning run in the WNBA over the past week. And we've got a big seven-unit play, rare seven-unit play, just the second one of the season. Going on Wednesday's slate, it'll be available Wednesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Seven-unit main event, WNBA Wednesday. Don't miss out. These don't happen a lot of seven unit plays but we got one for you on uh, today's card as far as major league baseball is concerned one side one play for today is a midweek mismatch and boy you know how well we've done with these if you've been around me for the last decade 115 and 75 we won again last week we got one for you going on wednesday a wednesday night play and both of those plays the wnba and major league baseball will be available at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific at docsports.com on wednesday morning also wanted to update you that our PGA uh, matchups. We've got two of them going for this week's tournament, both rated four stars, both available at DocSports.com. Same time as the WNBA and baseball on Wednesday. We'll look to go 2-0 and in this week's PGA action with both of these matchups. As far as everything else, I told you yesterday, eight-unit play, first one of the season in the CFL will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, over at DocSports.com. Uh, we're perfect so far this year in the CFL, 107-74 going back the last decade plus. That's almost 60% winners in the CFL. So be sure to grab that on Thursday, big eight unit play. And as far as everything else, NASCAR, as usual, will be posted late Saturday night for Sunday's race. UFC, Red Hot UFC, will be posting late Friday night for Saturday's fight card. And we'll tell you more about it as we get closer to those days this week and uh, right here on these videos. So again, Wednesday though, seven unit play in the WNBA, 83% current run plus the midweek mismatch in baseball, both plays at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, let's get to the free pick in baseball for Wednesday. And it's a first five innings play, and the game's an afternoon game. It goes at 3.40 p.m. Eastern, 12.40 p.m. Pacific. We're back in the Dodgers over the first five innings. Going to have to lay about a buck 50 in this one. Uh, they're at Arizona. Pitching matchup is going to be this young kid for the Dodgers in his first start, Tony Gonsolin, who's going to match up against Taylor Clark for Arizona. Arizona. Let's talk about Clark for just a second. He has been a disastrous mess for the D-backs this year. It doesn't matter home bump or away bump. He's just been getting shelled. If you look what he's done overall this year, 33 and a third innings pitched. He's allowed 41 hits. He has a home runs per nine innings pitched ratio of nearly 2.2. And even though he's pitched much fewer innings at home, his numbers at home on that home bump are even worse than his overall numbers. So it's not like he's going to start at home today. And because he's at Chase, he's going to find the sweet elixir. I mean, this one's going to come out of left field, so to speak, if he has a good outing. Plus, he's facing the Dodger bats who have just been murdering right-handers on the road and in day action against righties this season, about six runs per game. We expect the Dodgers to score some runs here. As far as Arizona's concerned to the plate, they've not been that great home day action against right-handers, a flat four runs per game. Uh, I think what's going to happen here is Tony Gonsolin's going to give the Dodgers a nice, decent old first half of the game and he is by the way making his first start with the Dodgers He's a decent young prospect. He's got a nice repertoire on the mound, three or four pitchers, pitches deep. Um, and according to everybody who's talked about this kid, as far as scouts are concerned, he's got it between the years. So we expect him to come out and pitch a decent 05 innings for the Dodgers in this one. Here's why it's not a full game play. The Dodgers pin through six innings of action last night at Arizona. So we don't want to mess with that here. We're going to go first five innings on the youngster, Tony Gonsolin, and the Dodgers over the D-backs 
Diamondbacks, who, you know, again, I, I think the Dodgers can just get to Taylor Clark in this one because he's been a mess so far in his starts this particular season. We'll back the Dodgers first five innings Wednesday afternoon. Again, note the start time, 3.40 p.m. Pacific, 12, excuse me, 3.40 p.m. Eastern, 12.40 p.m. Pacific time. Dodgers first five innings. All right, real quick again, over at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Grab my baseball midweek mismatch. Grab my seven-unit WNBA main event going on Wednesday night's card. And grab both of my matchups from this week's PGA. All available Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Real quick note before we wrap it up here, folks. Uh, the baseball over under win totals that we completed talking about this past weekend. We're going to do a recap of all the bets that we've made with our over under win totals coming up early next week. We'll tell you more about it. We'll give you an exact date and time with these videos. Probably on Sunday's video, we'll be able to tell you when we're going to do that. But a recap of all the teams we talked about, all the over under bets that we made, and also if we've uh, jumped in and added any bets since we talked about these particular teams because we started doing this about six weeks ago. And again, more details on that as we get closer to uh, this coming Sunday with the videos. Be sure to check that out. We'll also be talking some college football starting next week. We cleaned up last year college football over under win totals, uh, future plays on to win plays on conferences. And uh, we'll be doing that again starting pretty soon. We'll let you know when as we get closer to the weekend. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column. We'll be right back here Thursday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.